hi welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do a quick video just with all the books that I do want to get through before winter. They are quite a few and most of these books are from Christmas just because I want to get them read before Christmas this year because I know in the past I've had some few books that I've just kept in my TBR and never read until over a year later. Red Queen was one, um, obviously I didn't end up enjoying that so I am a bit scared of these but obviously these were all on my wish list that I gave to everyone so there must be a reason why I want to read them. The first two books are ones that I will hopefully get through this month May just because I am doing historic fiction month and these two are both historic fiction. We've got A Burnable Book by Bruce Hollinser, I think that's how you pronounce it, and The North Water by Ian Maguire. I won't go through these because I did go through them in my May TBR and hopefully you'll be hearing more about them in my May wrap up. But this one I believe there's a murder on a boat and they're all trying to try and work out who did that murder. And then this one I believe a man has been given a book and it contains treason. So it's all about him trying not to get killed by the king. They both seem like my kind of stuff. I like thrillers, I like stuff with murder, I like stuff with treason, political intrigue. So I am hoping to get these read and I am doing quite good with my historic fiction month and I will have a video uploaded in a few days I think and I'm just going through a mid-month wrap up to show you how I'm getting on. The next two again I will go through very quickly just because they are both fairy loot books. I got into a stage where I had loads of fairy loot books just on my shelf. I think I had like a good four months, six months worth of books that I never read just because I just wasn't that interested and that's why I am thinking of cancelling my fairy loot subscription and maybe going for a book box that has more adult books in it just because why well, yeah I am going off it as you know I did a video a while ago I will link it down below for you so yeah I might cancel my fairy loot but I am thinking about it I want to look for a more adult British book box but these two books you've got A State of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury all I know about this is that I think it's a kingdom full of grief because the heir has died. I'm not too sure, but I am quite intrigued. I am going to give this a go. And then I've also got the recent one, Beyond the Dark and Short by Jessica Leake. I am hoping this will be good because it looks so good. All I know is that I think there's a war and the main character meets young boy in a ship and he is her enemy but he's also trying to help her I don't know it seems interesting it seems like like I said a lot of political intrigue and it's a fancy and it looks like it's gonna be quite dark so I have got high hopes for this Um, hopefully if this is good maybe I won't cancel my fairy loot but I am planning on sorting that out today so I'm not 100% sure I might just cancel it and then maybe go back to it every now and then there's just four books left and they're all from Christmas all that were on my wish list I just haven't got round to them yet First one being The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. Now I have had my eye on this series for so long, mainly because the covers look so beautiful. They're kind of simple and they've got like this splash of colour. I love them so much. The only thing that's putting me off is just the size. Um, I know I was in a reading slump earlier. I mean it's only um, 600 pages. It's been a while since I've read a book that big and that's what's putting me off at the moment. But recently on Goodreads I've had so many people put really good reviews of these that I just want to get into it but I'm scared that I won't like it. So if you have read The Final Empire or the whole series, please just tell me that it's good because I'm more likely to pick it up. I'm scared it's going to be like Game of Thrones where even though it's good, it does start to get a bit confusing when you get all these characters introduced. But I do really, really want to get this read. I think it might be more of a, um, a holiday read. I'm not going away until September and that's for RTX so I'll be too busy. I do have a week off in July where I might just sit around just reading. So I think that might be the best time to read this kind of book. But yeah, just comment down below if you've read it and if you've liked it because I want to have my thoughts for a rest. <laughs> Then we've got Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I can't 100% remember what this is about, but from my memory, I think it's a guy who gets kidnapped and wakes up and his life's not his life. I think that's what it's about, but I'm not 100% sure. And I think that's what's putting me off. Also, as you may know, thrillers, I do have a mixed relationship with them. Sometimes they're really good and other times they're just really bad. There's no in between. So that's what's kind of worrying me about this. 
The next one is also a crime novel, and that's Ragdoll by Daniel Cull. Now, I think I'm always trying to find the right time to read this. I was going to read it earlier, but then I'm doing my historic fiction month. But I think I am going to like this. My best friend Michelle has read this one and also Cull's new one, and she says they are amazing. And I think this will be the kind of book I will like. Basically, what I know about this is that a body is discovered, but all its limbs are from six different victims so it looks like it might be a bit gruesome but I do like that kind of stuff and at the moment my favourite thriller author is Bea Paris and I think this might be going along the same lines as her so I really can't wait to read this one and I am thinking of popping it on my TBR for June because I think I may have a thriller month just to get rid of some of my thrillers and the last one is The Lovely Bones by Alice Seabold. So this has been on my TBR for such a long time, I was so glad that I got it for Christmas. But then I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. I haven't read like a contemporary novel for a while and I think this is contemporary. All I know is that a young girl has died and I think it's from her viewpoint in heaven. And she's trying to help everyone work out who murdered her. Again it seems like it's right up my alley and I think that's what it's about but I'm not 100% sure. But, so I am going to pick this up and the cover just makes it look like a really nice summer read so again I am wanting to get this read before winter. So that's just a very quick video of what I want to read before autumn and winter so you might see these turning up on TBRs or wrap ups if I just decide to pick one up and I will hopefully get down to it because I don't want to be in that place I was last year when I had loads of books on my TBR for a year and for some reason I never read them. So anyway that's it for this quick video, I will see you later with a new one and as usual all my social media links are below. Bye!